Friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how to become a CPA in Australia. This is a step-by-step -step guide. I have been getting this question again and again from people, how to become a CPA, how to become a CPA, what is the procedure? I've made a separate video on this. Please click on the link below in the description or just above, I've just put a card there for you guys. And that's a step-by-step -step process on how to become a CPA. Now, this time I'm going to practically show you what to do, how you have to do it. So let's say you are a student in Australia. I'm just talking about for now, I'm just talking about a student in Australia who has just finished their undergraduate or master's degree. They, are, they were an international student or maybe they're Australian students, whoever they are, they've just finished the degree and they want to pursue the CPA. So the first thing what you'll do is you'll go to the CPA Australia website over here and you, you go to Google and you like CPA Australia. Now the first thing that comes up is the website. You click on there and become a CPA. See this one, become a CPA. You go to become a CPA and either you click on how to apply or you just go to become a CPA. Now once you go there, you'll be brought to this page. Now this page has lots of information. This one where I am right now is the professional program information. This is when you have done accounting in your undergraduate or your masters or anywhere, something to do with accounting and you directly jump to the professional level. You're currently working at an accounting firm and you want to start the professional level. This is the page for you. These are the subjects for you and this is the page for you. Now, if you go to apply now, it's showing my ID and stuff, but you guys will not have this ID because you guys are basically new. So you have to create an account. Once you create an account, which I'm not going to do, it will take you to a separate page where they will show you what application and what documents you need to submit. Now, there is a section over here which says watch docu what documents you need to submit. However, what I'll do is I'll just show you everything step by step. So just hang on with me. Let's go back to become a CPA and go to how to apply. So once you come here, it shows you the three steps. The first step is before you begin supporting documents. Now, these are the, if you click on documents, it will take you what supporting documents you need. So I have been asked these questions again and again. What do we need to provide? What do we need to provide? Someone asked this question last night also. So this is your page. I'll link everything, give a link to everything in my blog. So I do write a blog on my own website now where I will give a link to everything. Go and visit my blog. The description of the website and the blog will be underneath this video. Go to my blog, click on this link, and you will find all this information there. So how should I supply the documents? What documents do they need? We don't accept documents that are low quality, blah, 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 all these questions. Now, basically, your supporting documents, yeah, there you go. As a part of your membership application, you will need to provide supporting documentation so you can verify information. You will be prompted to upload digital copies of your original documents. Now, what these documents basically are, are your transcripts, your degrees, your certificates. Let's say you, you already are an ACCA from India with all the ACCA qualifications that you have done. You have passed your ACCA, you have done your five years experience or whatever experience you need and you have the ACCA, ACCA tag underneath you. And now you are in Australia and you want to convert your ACCA into CPA Australia. The documents that you will need to provide will be basically your all your letters and transcripts and certificates and everything from your ACCA that you have done. You need to provide them with as much information as you can. Now, if you are doing your bachelor's, I've just finished your bachelor's and I just started the video with saying if you have just finished your bachelor's or your master's degree in Australia, what you need to do is you need to provide them with your master's and bachelor's transcript. So CP Australia will go through your transcript. They'll see if you have done through an accredited university. They'll see if the courses are right. They'll see if your courses that you have done, they match the course requirement that they have. If everything is good, then you can start directly with the professional program. Now, let's suppose if you have done masters in arts and you want to start your CPA for some reason, and you still have to provide your documentation to CP Australia, 
then CP Australia will start you with the foundation exam instead of the main professional exam. Now to go to your foundation exam, what I would do is either I would go here and start looking for it where it is or the easiest way that I probably usually do, I just go to Google and I write CPA foundation exam. First site that comes up is obviously CP Australia foundation exam and these are the subjects that we have to take. This is only when CPA says that the, the degrees and the courses that you have done in your past does not match with what they need you to do. If what they want you to do you have already done it then you directly start with the professional one, the other one. So remember this. Then. So you have made your account now as I showed you you go to apply now and you make your account once your, once your account is ready you have to submit them all the documentation. You have to pay some fee as well so let's go to the fee section because I know someone will ask me how much do I have to pay. So go to the fee section under the member services fees member services and go to Australia. You can go to any other location as well. Let's see what other location brings up. So these are the fees for all the other locations and wherever in the world you are. So this, the following fees applicable in locations other than Australia, Hong Kong, New Zealand. So basically if you are in India, these are this, this will be your fee. This is other than Australia. Okay, so this will be if you are in India, this will be, this is your fee page. This is how much you have to pay. Now if you are in Australia, go to Australia and this is how much you have to pay. See the fees are different. So let's see what's the first one. Applicable fee is 164 AUD, applicable fee is 180 AUD. See the fee are different for Australian citizens and non-Australian who are outside Australia. So this is probably for those who are outside Australia, anywhere in the world who want to start the CPA. Basically I'm getting these questions from lots of Indian friends of mine. So this is your web page. I'll again link this in my blog as well. This is where you have to go guys. This is how you pay your fee. It shows how you can pay your fee. There are different ways to pay your fee. Now, if you are in India, let's say if you have done your bachelor's in accounting from India and you want to start your CPA program, first of all, ask yourself, why do you want to start your CPA program? Because if you are in India and there's a pretty good chance that if you want to leave India, and come to Australia then yes you should start your CPA program but if you don't want to leave India and if you're going to stay in India then I would suggest doing something that is more focused and more worth in India like CA or ACCA they are they are stronger accounting bodies in India than CPA Australia CPA Australia and CA Australia are CA ANZ they call it they are stronger accounting bodies in Australia they might not be as strong in India. CA I know is strong, but CPA I don't, I don't think it's that strong. It's as well recognized in India. Let's put it that way. It's not as well recognized in India. People don't know much about it. So keep that in mind as well. So if you are in India, I would, I would recommend you do something that is more focused in India, like CA or ACCA. But anyways, Again, if you still want to do your CP Australia while you're in India, but you want to still move out, what you do is, again, I would go to Google and I will write CPA Australia India. And this contact page comes up. Again, I'll link this in the description as well. This contact page comes up. There's an email there and there's an Indian phone number. Plus 91 is your Indian code. I would call them and ask them first about all the documentations and all that stuff that they require, what they need from me as someone who has just finished his bachelor's degree or probably they'll say just go online, apply like everyone does and send us your documentations and we'll look into your documentations and we'll look into your eligibility and then we'll let you know if you can do your CPA program. So this is for Indians who are sitting in India and who want to do the CPA from India. There's their address as well. They are in New Delhi. If you just want to go and talk to them at their office, there you go. They've given everything. Right? So step one. So this is the last time I'm saying again. Step one is go to become a CPA. Either go to how to apply. You'll see these three steps. Click here to see the documentation, what documents they need. 
click here to apply now it will just take you directly to the apply now page and if you have already applied and saved your application halfway through you can resume your application from here on the apply now page if you are new you have to set up your account and stuff you have to set up your payment methods and all that stuff and then from there you can take it on from there then these are the fees if you are outside Australia these are your fees so these are your application fee your $164 you have to pay as an application fee so this will be the first time when you apply to CPO Australia saying I want to become a member you have to give this now associate this associate is someone who has just started the CPA program so what has happened is they've applied for the CPA program they've sent their transcripts and everything and CPA said okay your transcripts are good we are taking you into a professional program so that's when you become an associate you have six years to finish the program uh, in the six years if you keep failing or if you keep deferring your semesters and if you don't take your exams in those six years then you have to contact CPA again and they will let you know how they will deal with you but you have six years to finish the CPA program usually people finish in three years they take once one subject per semester six subjects they finish in three years but overall they've given you six years time to finish the CPA program once you finish this, once you take all your exam and you finish your CPA program, then you become a full member. Now, with the full member, the fees are different. I'm just looking for where the member fee is, CPA CFS. So this is the full member fee, $654. Now, there is a difference between associate member and a full member. Associate member is someone, as I just mentioned, who has just joined the program. Full member is when you finished all your six subjects. So when you pass all your subjects, then you become a full member of CP Australia. You have a ceremony and they give you a big certificate in the ceremony. And this is your full member fee. Now again, this is the full member fee from people outside Australia. People inside Australia, they have a different full member fee. So if I go to CPA member services and fees and fees and Australia, my fees are different than yours, so that's my fee, $720 a year. After this, you'll say, how much does one exam cost me? The answer to that is, if you come down to the CPA program, this is your early bird fee, which you paid before. The due date, there's a due date to pay the fee, and this is, not the due date, basically the early bird, they give you an incentive to pay the fee earlier, as soon as you can. And this is your subject enrollment fee, which is your normal fee. There you go. And this is again outside Australia. So this is how much you have to pay per subject. If you fail, you have to pay the whole fee. There is no recheck or no retake or there is no such thing as like CA Australia. What CA does is you can take the supplementary exam if you fail with like five marks or six marks. Some people I know they failed their subject from one mark or two mark, but they have to retake the whole subject. So six months gone, they again had to start from scratch. And pay this whole fee this whole fee if you're paying early but this one if you're paying a bit later this one so remember that CPA is very strict on this now with the foundation exam these are again your enrollment for foundations and the fees and stuff so go through this page I'll put a link in my blog go through this page and look at this page properly and you'll understand what I'm talking about let's come to courses how are you going to take those six subjects those six subjects they are usually recommend that you take one subject per semester some people take two subjects per semester not recommended at all by CP Australia because you are working and then you're studying at the same time so not recommended at all I did my last two subjects in one semester CPA didn't recommend it I still took it and I passed both of them but I had to put too much effort too much time into it it's it's not that easy and my wife was very supportive she helped me a lot and that's how I managed to finish the last two subjects in my in just one semester and I passed them passed my CPA so now you know step by step on how you can apply what the fees are what the subjects are I even have made another video where I've shown you how to pass your CPA exams there are these two bodies or what do you call it the two tuition providers who provide tuition for CPA just in Australia they are online completely online the one I have worked with the one I have studied with is called knowledge equity 
I highly recommend them. I don't get any kickbacks or anything from them. It's I'm just letting you guys know because I've passed and I know they are good. They give you two exams. If you take the full course, they give you two exams just before your final exams and two mock exams basically just before your final exams and they'll check it for you before your final exams and they'll let you know where you're wrong, where you're right, blah, blah, blah. And then you go from there. So I'll write everything on my blog. I'll put the link down in the description. Click on the description, go to my blog, read everything about it. And I hope it all works out for you guys. Best of luck and let me know if you have any other questions. Bye for now.